Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, we're going to be doing our reroll guide for the game. Now, this is the process of rerolling with all the fundamentals. I'm going to leave timestamps so you can bounce around. I'll go through some fundamental notes and then we'll go through a full run through. It takes about eight ish minutes to do. Now, if you want a video, I made a whole video going through who to reroll for and the different levels of like quality reroll accounts. I'll leave that video in the description as well. Now, let's go through it. So, first of all, the first thing I'm going to mention is actually my bottom note on this page, which is why you don't need to reroll. Everyone gets a Cecilia in their first 10 pool, who's just a great beginner DPS unit. And then everyone gets a guaranteed epic healer in on their third 10 pool, which is going to be Rowan, Hewan, or Smokey, and all fantastic. So really, you don't have to reroll in this game. This is just for the super sweats like me who just enjoy rerolling. And that's pretty much it. So that's the first thing. Next thing, let's go through the username. Now, each server can only have one person with each name. So just keep that in mind. The easiest way is just to use the default name that they give you and change it later. We'll go through that when we do the run through as well. Next is deleting your account. So you, you, do, you roll an account, you don't like what you got from the summons. What do you do? First option is server hopping. Over here, I've taken a, uh, a screenshot from the, the PTR where we have different servers. And if you say, see the ones I've got owned, these are the ones I started on, got shit rolls, and then I moved to another server. So you can do that. You can just go into servers and I'll show you where that is in game uh, at the end of the video. And you can just do it. It's just in the settings. In the settings, in the rightmost menu, and then it's just in uh, create new character. So you can do that. That is probably the easiest way. However, take note with this. Unfortunately, where, where I've got the server as the second note, uh, sorry, the third note, guilds and friends are server locked. So if you have people that you want to play with, tee up what server you're going for. Then instead of server hopping, you might want to use one of these other methods so that you can keep rolling on that same server. But at the moment, they are, ser they are server locked. And I say hopefully not for long because since I found this out, I have been absolutely writing them to get this fixed and make cross server guilds and friends when it's meant to be a social game. I feel like you need that fundamentally when there's going to be a lot of servers. Uh, so hopefully that is not locked. Guilds and friends aren't locked, but at the moment, I think they will be unless they change it quickly before global launch. That's just the way it is on the PTR. Now, the other ways you can reroll is to use a different account. So if you've logged in with your email and you get a bad roll you can log out of that email log in to a new email unfortunately on pc that's the way you have to do it because there is no guest accounts uh so your two options on pc are server hopping or using a different account and then on android the additional one you can do because on android or emulator if you want to use an emulator i'll leave a link to blue stacks in the description but if you want to use an android or emulator you can log in as a guest and then if you don't like it, you can go into your settings, you can go to apps, you can go to AFK Journey, then you go to storage and you clear storage. That will wipe the data, but you'll also have to re-download the additional assets in the game, which I believe you can do it in a short method, which is like 300 or 400 meg. So that is an option if you're on Android uh, or emulator to go ahead and do that. iOS, I'm assuming you'd have to uninstall, reinstall, but I haven't tested it because I don't use iOS. So that is everything that I want to go through in these pre-notes. Now let's jump across and let's go through the actual run through. Okay, here we are. We're going to do the run through. Now, first of all, for those doing the account switching method, different Gmails and stuff, the account button in the top right is where you go ahead and switch it. But let's jump in and let's do our run. Like I said, it's about seven minutes, eight minutes. Not too bad. It's actually pretty quick. As soon as this lets us, we just hold and then the holding will skip this bit. Uh, which is perfectly good. Now we can go ahead and skip this and we're going to skip absolutely everything. We go into character creation, select your character. You can change all this stuff later. You can change the name, appearance, all that sort of stuff. So just going to do this, run through it as quickly as possible. Happy days. Now we can move. Now, now that we've gotten here, my face cam's frozen. So I'm just going to fix that. I don't know what is going on with my face cam. It's completely melting down. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the settings. And with the first thing is if you are server hopping, this is where you go character switch and you can choose a different server. You see, I've done just about every PTR server, but this is the PTR global. You'll have global servers that you can go ahead and hop between. Uh, next up, let's go to settings make sure we've got auto root on that's a very important one then after that we go ahead and go to battle and we put never ultimate it's a it's a little thing but it just means you never see ultimates when we're doing our run through now that we got auto root on we can actually click the text in the top right under the map the text for the quest and that will auto path us now the reason this is so important is later on we can walk when you're auto pathing enemies in the world don't engage with you which is actually just fantastic so 
having that auto pathing on means that we dodge a few battles and, and interactions later on this battle's pretty basic you just use hogan once uh there's nothing too crazy in this one but after we do this battle we're gonna do some skipping again we're gonna do some auto pathing and then we're gonna uh go ahead and break down the wall which is pretty easy this one's just press f happy days then hit the auto pathing button again like the auto pathing button is just your best friend this one i don't think you even need to swap character position but you know let's just do it keep the game happy that it feels like it's doing something now we put two times speed we put auto combat on now we don't have to worry about combat for the rest of the time every 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 battle we jump into we win now there is one battle where we got to place characters, but we don't actually have to do anything with them. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to level up our chippy. We'll just do it two levels for the sake of it. Bounce out, get two summons, and we'll keep going. So now we keep running. We get into another little, I think, cutscene or conversation. Oh no, it's a combat one. Once again, we've got two times speed enabled already. We got auto combat on. There's nothing we need to do in this one. This one's just taking care of itself and uh, pretty much happy days. There you go. Job done. All right, so after that, let's keep booting. Yep, skip, happy days. Skip, happy days. All right, now let's path again. Once again, just auto pathing all the way. We have a little conversation and then we get into a little battle. And there we go, skip. Yep, job done. What is up with my face cam? Keep It keeps freezing. I have no idea why. Just technical difficulties down here in Australia. You guys know how it is. So this battle's a guaranteed win. You can't lose. I think it guarantees that your character's health doesn't go below one. Like you, you'll see, look, look at all my characters. They, they, you see Chippy down there being at one HP, but just not dying. Dude's just invincible. He's like a mini Brutus. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You're just guaranteed to live and win this one. Then we're going to get another cutscene and like literally we're halfway there. We might even be more than halfway there. I, I don't even know, but we, we are about halfway there. So we get a free copy of Valen. Cool beans. Dude's actually okay in like the first day of play and then he just becomes his absolute trash. Uh, so there we go. We get Hammy. Now we're going to do two summons. Now our first summon is guaranteed to be a Fey. Every time it is going to be a Fey, there is never anything else that will come from this first summon. Then the second summon is guaranteed to be an elite DPS. So you can't get an epic from these ones. This one is always going to be Fae. Uh, the next one, uh, most commonly I see Viperion or Seth, but it could be something different. There's a Seth. So there you go. You, you're guaranteed a de DPS from that second pull. Uh, and then we're going to boot out. Now we're going to go back on the auto pathing train. Now, just to note, you can go into your uh, events tab and pick up your free 10 pool and summon your Cecilia here, but I don't do it because I'll just do all the summons at the end because you don't actually need to do it because uh, we don't actually have to do any hard combat. We've got one more battle, uh, which is very easy. We just stop auto pathing here so that we can collect these two chests because the two chests gives us an extra summon and some extra gems. So that's handy. Uh, and then we can just keep auto pathing down here. We get into this battle. Uh, now this battle, the one thing you want to do, make sure you do in this one, is place your characters. Once you place your characters, you, you pretty much got a free win because you can just explode the barrel. So you're going to do that barrel, you're going to do that barrel, you're going to do that barrel, and then you just win the battle. So like I said, you can get your Cecilia, but she really doesn't speed anything up at this stage. So we're, we're not really caring about that. Uh, so now we can go in and equip some gear. It does like the quick little gear tutorial. Now we bounce straight back out and then we hit auto pathing. Now this is where the auto pathing is brilliant because if you watch this, we're going to run past enemies and we're just going to completely ignore them. They're not going to engage with us and we're just going to go straight past them. If we were actually running in this exact same line, but we were controlling it, they would engage us. So there's first enemy, we don't get engaged. Second enemy, we don't get engaged. Even though he tries to, like it's something about autopathing that doesn't let them. We're going to run, run on top of that guy. We don't get engaged. It's fantastic. I absolutely love the system. It's so good. Auto pathing is just next level. Next level for rerolls anyway. <laughs> so let's just jump here. Uh, and now it's going gonna, it's gonna to stop us here. Okay, cool beans. Uh, it's going to stop us and then you just hit the auto, the, you just hit the quest text again. It, just under the mini map. And then away we go. We're going to jump over here. Big Hogan's going to be sitting there waiting for a chat. So we say, what's going, what's going on, Hogan? Cool. Uh, and then we hit this one. And literally we're here. After this, this is where you go and do your summons. Like that, that's it. Like the reroll is super quick. Okay, so now we're going to skip. Yes. Gives us artifacts, gives us extra gems, which is happy days. Shows us how to equip the artifacts. We activate it. Happy days. All right, that's that. Now we can go over here. We can go to our events tab. Like I said, you could have got this earlier, but that, there's that free temple. 
um what else do we have in here there's nothing else worthwhile the follow us one i'm gonna leave till the end of the day to get better afk loot from it uh then we can go over here into quests we can quick collect this one we can collect that uh, and then we can quick collect whoop, what, what did i click quests we can quick collect that cool we can do these i don't think we there's there's an extra 500 gems there so that actually is important um it's a nice one to pick up then over here we can go to the mail unfortunately because i'm on ptr i don't have um pre-registration rewards but once global's here the pre-registration rewards will be there which will have a temple a thousand gems a copy of Leica, and some sort of outfit i believe that's what's in it so that's going to make up the rest of what i miss out on in this little run through then we're going to go to the trolley we're going to pick up this little pack for free happy days get some more summons and then that's it now we go to the mystical house what are we at we're at seven minutes 18 seconds recorded and that's pretty much it so now we do our first temple this one guarantees the Cecilia. just of note i've never seen a second epic in this first temple or in the third temple but in the second temple that is where you can get the magic and you can get um you can get an extra epic hero so there you go this one also always guarantees you to get a lucius you always get a lucius then you can get any random number of other elite heroes so now we're going to go ahead and do our second temple boom happy days Let's see what we get so this is the one where you can get your bonus epic Unfortunately, we didn't. We only got an elite. We only got the purple. So that's, you're not getting anything bonus out of here. Now, the pre-registration rewards, like I said, you'll have an extra thousand gems. You'll have an extra 10 pool. That is where you can go ahead and you can do your final 10 pool here. And that 10 pool will guarantee you either a Rowan, a Hewan, or a Smokey. So that is that one. Then on top of that, you can jump here and you can pop these three pools. Now, what I normally do with this wish list is I leave Brutus because I want one copy of Brutus. Then he goes off the wish list. Cecilia and Thorin are two that I want to get multiple copies of. So I leave them on. And then these two slots, I leave for the two healers that I didn't get initially. So basically in an early account, I want all three healers. I want a Brutus and then I want copies of Cecilia and Thorin. And that's pretty much it. Once I get one copy of the healers, then I can shift them away. But let's just pretend I got let's just pretend I pulled a Hewan I would put Smokey and Rowan here save and then I do my three pulls see what we can get now if you get an early one that's nice if not it doesn't really matter um, because you do get one at 10 but this is like you know maybe you pull like a Thorin who's like the ideal one that I go for from these three pulls and then you know okay my account's got the stuff I want and you're where you go but that is pretty much it for the reroll like I said, then you just basically go and you either log into a new account. If you're on Android, you can delete data, reinstall, uh, or you can go ahead and server hop. Those are your options. And that's the way it goes. But that is it for the reroll guide on the process. Like I said, if you want more in depth into who to reroll for, I have that video already on the channel and I'll leave that linked in the description. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.